It wasn't working. What else can he do? Yeah, it's really, really difficult. But it looks like we're going to get the repeat here for Grand Finals. We saw these guys face off in Winner's Finals. But looks like we're going to see Mars cut right to the chase here. Go straight onto the Ike. Oh, Ike out here uh, fighting for his friends. Mars trying to fight for the away team. Oh, my. That was... Dang, that was clean. <laughs> that was extremely clean. Just Wolf. You know, I heard someone say Wolf didn't have combos. That looked like a combo to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looked like uh, like uh, Mars was definitely getting the hands. Or getting the claws. Yeah, and I mean, right there, Leo gets the parry. Tries to go right into the up smash. But Mars is going to be the first one to land the up smash there. And we see, or we hear, Wolf's first thought go away. That's right. Howl at the moon as he goes away. But now starting aggressive with an S smash. Does get punished for a few percent. Oh, double side B. Yeah, catching the landing, and Mars is definitely making use of that quick draw there. We'll try to get the down tilt on the two frame, and right now Mars, very big lead here, going to be able to side B back onto the ledge here. Ooh, and Wolf off stage. Here's the Aether. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> good use. It does go below the explosion. Oh, yeah, it, it's very low. <laughs> Didn't even look like he had a techable. No, that was untechable. That was, that was untechable. It, it was so was strong, over. it was untechable. <laughs> Are we going to see the snipe here? No, we see the scoop coming from Town Town. Leo reading that he was going to go right to center stage with that quick draw. Mars up a complete stock still, so he does have a little bit of room to breathe. Ooh. Falling there is going to re uh, reward Leo getting back to stage. Ooh, I like the Tomahawk and Mars throwing out that crazy uh, forward smash. I mean, and, you know, Mar Mars, I, I like Mars because he's all about making the crazy options work. And that's why he's really fun to play. Okay, gets the trade. But it looks like Mars is on the losing end of that trade. But with uh, being up a whole stock, is he really losing any trades? Yeah, I mean, not really. I, as long as he's holding on to the stock, even if he loses it, he's already got Leo up to kill percent. And there's the parry into the up tilt there. Ike's smash attacks uh, pretty slow. Oh, and you got to hit those techs. Especially on the wolf down through all or on the sour nair at kill percent, man. And because if you miss the tech, it's just a free tipper down smash. Tipper down smash is so strong. Oh, it is redunculous. It hits so so hard. You can see uh, Mars really trying to utilize these platforms and land a falling nair, but we see a uh, good uh -oh. combination. Oof. Oh, okay. That was very very close. Leo definitely wanted that edge guard. But Mars, seeing that, was able to get the side B out just in the nick of time. Okay, avoiding that big up smash. Oh, and now, man, you gotta time's up for the juggle. Time for the juggle. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. When you're, when you're fighting someone like Leo, sometimes if you just reach a handful of times, it's just you losing the game. But wow. He, I, I like the walk fake out. He, he yeah. was like walking forward, walking back. And I think Leo saw the walk forward and was like, oh, maybe he's going to commit to like, you know, coming into this area, I'll throw up the get-up attack. Wolf has a very good and disjointed get-up attack as well. But, I mean, yeah, just really faked them out there and was able to close that, close it out with a forward tilt. That was actually looking scary. Like, yeah, Mars was up an entire stock, and Leo was bringing that back. Nerves of steel from Mars. He just stayed within inches of MK Leo, who yes. had been giving him the hands for that last stock. Oh, yeah. So, But he kept his composure and just able to seal out game one. Damn, dude, I, I want to see that uh, the the falling fair nair fair nair across the entire stage. That Leo? Com yeah, that <laughs> combo was nice. Dude. That combo was pretty nice for a day five wolf. That's all I gotta say. Oh man. Okay, well we see a character or a stage select is going to town and city. Yeah, I agree with this uh, counter pick. I feel like um, any Ike usually just does really well at killing off the top. Leo knows this, so uh, I'm going to go to town and city. Um, he has a lot of space to work with, so maybe we'll see a little bit more blasters, but dang, right now Mars is just doing so much damage on these platform extensions. Good forward throw coming out from MK Leo. Now going for the edge guards. Gets a sour hit in there. Not able to really get much from it, though, outside of a little bit of damage. Was he able to reset on the platform? Yes. Took a little step back. He set on that platform and came back in. I like the grab there. Ooh, grab release. No double jump on oh, Mars. Oh, no. Yeah. He probably could have made it back, but if he didn't air dodge, he would have made it back. Oh. He would have been able to use that either. Oh, here we go. Is this that combo? Okay, just going to finish it off with the down tilt there. Yeah, and, mo you know, most of these Fire Emblem characters, uh, they're definitely going to have the counter against a wolf if they uh, commit to wolf flash mm -hmm. to the ledge. Right there, Mars going to seal it out with the back air. Oh, going right for an up throw and get landing an up air Ooh. into a back air. And I have the platform to reset on, but Leo knows this and was able to catch him on the uh, on the way there. 
Oh man, oh, Leo big. called that jump out so hard, but Ooh. he had the right idea, just not spaced correctly. Yep. You know what it was? That F smash. Yep. Very nice catch on the landing and that that's the wolf special, man. Like, yo, let me let me hit you with this dash back F smash. And it's just <laughs> it's so good. Okay, nair to nair. And we're seeing now going into the up airs here. Man, big Mars. dash attack coming from Mars and going for the eruption again. Not spacing it uh, this time. And Ooh, Paleo very aware. Oh, that was clean. Um, reacted to the tech in place and got the reset. And like I said, Wolf is a character. You get these uh, pretty decent strings and you get these nice little reset situations. And if you hit those resets, man, oh man, the damage just keeps coming. Oh, he sniped him out. Ooh. And then get the disrespect up on the down air. Get out of my house. I said get out. <laughs> a lot of you. Dang, man. Oh, and a lot of you. <laughs> yeah, like... He was already dead, Leo. He was already dead. That's just the villain in Leo coming out. You know, you start playing these characters, you start to, you know, you start to feel with them, you start to vibe with them a little bit. Yeah. Definitely I mean, gonna give him the the villain treatment. God, he slashed them all the way down there, and ooh, I like the music too. Is this Carlos? Yes, I believe so. Another great counter. Oh wait, no, this is. Uh, oh, that's right. You can pick like any music for from any Pokemon stage now. I think oh, was, so I think we're going to. St oh yeah, we're going to stadium. Yeah. Yeah, this, th I think, oh, it's so hard. There's so much good Pokemon music, but <laughs> definitely, this one's definitely in my top three, for sure, for sure. I uh, you think that was supposed to be a dash attack? Okay, okay, you know what? This, this is my favorite. This is my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it, it's just too good. Oh, oh again. Oh, damn. Oh, no, and then the air dodge coming from MK Leo. You might have thought that he was going to be in a tech situation. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate there, Leo had such a good situation there. Um, I mean, he zero to seventy Mars, and then had him in an off stage situation. Even landing the downer was still the just. I wanted being to see the double position. dip so bad. Oh, you wanted I mean, the that, double dare? I, I wanted the double dare. I, I, I love those, those. To me, the, I always call him the double dip, man. You, you, you dip down twice. Oh man, <laughs> you got to give Nickelodeon credit where credit's due. <laughs> give him the double dare. <laughs> but oh, I like the upbeat from Leo, and oh, the not, no punish there. Both down smash gonna whip. Okay. I'm so surprised that he threw out an option when uh, Ike was charging up the up smash. That is a scary move to get hit by. Dash tag, Leo going to catch the landing. No. And, and Leo does a really good job. I don't see too much Wolves um, utilize this, but he his rising fairs are really, really on point. Most Wolves want to fall down with fair, or if they do a rising aerial, for the most part, it's just rising back here or rising there. But Leo... Ooh, but I mean right now Leo down two entire stocks. The first one wasn't SD, but Mars right there just playing really solid that second stock. And now, man, oh he wanted the three stock. Alright, you know what? I respect it. I respect it. Yeah, of course, you know Mars always going for the high plays. He yeah. knows that if that landed, that definitely would have gotten everybody talking. Yeah, I mean <laughs> not many people can be like, yo man, I three stock Leo in tournament, <laughs> man. And like, it, Mars had the opportunity. It was really close. If you got I that arrow to the left. The trigger. I yeah, the yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> But, I mean, now you got to be careful. Leo, definitely a man that can adapt very, very quick. So, we'll see what he can do. And these oh. fairs, man. Catches a jump, but it doesn't matter as MK Leo was charging down a down air. Or a down smash. Oh, trying ooh, to snipe the, yeah, him out. That was so close. He almost got that snipe. Again, ooh, going right over those blasters. Now, Mars has been doing ooh. a great job. I like the cross-up back here. Good stuff. But Mars has been getting a lot of damage from actually using a side beat. Yeah. Mar not even like in a recovery situation, just like he uses it to catch landings, or sometimes he just uses it in neutral. Techs, yeah, and then he uh, just uses it to chase. Yeah, even in tech chase situations, I think it's a really, really good move, and it it seems like it has a lot less ending lag because it like it, it just seems so much better, and it doesn't seem like he's getting punished for it like it's super hard. He's also using it in this like stutter step situation where he's. He's approaching MK Leo, and, and K Leo throws out an option, and then he stalls with the side B and then releases. So it gives him that stutter step, which actually allows MK Leo to whiff. Yeah, really, really smart stuff coming out from Mars. But right now, I mean, Mars up 2 1 here, but I mean, even like Mars took a set off of him at Heart of Battle, and you know, Leo was still confident in the wolf and was able to just bring it back in the, uh, the reset and win the whole tournament. So we'll see if Mars. Can get another set off the wolf. Ooh, the parry into the back here, but not going to be, uh, the hitbox not going to hit low enough there. That's right. Using the side B to get back to stage. Not getting trapped by any of those lead traps. MK Leo 
oh. getting hit by that big F smash, even taunting on him. Yeah, that's the F smash he wanted to hit uh, hit Leo with for the three stock, but gonna gonna get the run back and gonna hit it here in game number four. Gonna net him a nice little lead. Beautiful air dodge reads, and right now Leo is still getting hit by the sword. Finally, the nair connects. That's right. A couple parries from both of our players. Another fair landing for Mars, but a big cross up back air. It's gonna even up the stocks. Not the percent. Yeah, both these players' parry game is so, so on point here. Okay, forward tilt angle down. We're not going to catch Leo's recovery. But like I said, these rising forward airs, you don't see a lot of wolves doing it. And right now, Leo is just calling out all these, like, very high jumps. Okay, big back air from Mars. going to send him across stage. And then up, oh, up smash, oh, tipper! Oh, oh. Getting the very tipper of it. But still, there's no sour <laughs> spots on Ike Sword. Have oh. you seen that thing? That thing's yeah. huge! It's huge, man. And right now... <laughs> Mars is swinging for the hills, and he's guessing everything right. But Leo, going to retaliate with that forward smash. And bringing the stocks and percent even this time. You can see an up throw, easy up air convergence. Uh, yeah, I like that too. Um, Leo opting just for the up air there so he can get back onto the ground. Maybe continue the juggle situation. Because sometimes on some of these fast forwards and heavies, if you get if you grab them at zero, you can't do the down throw dash attack. But right now, no jump on Leo. And the oh, beautiful like, mix up. Yes, stalling with the up B instead of going for the wolf flash. Now, both of our players getting this close quarter combat again. Back air connecting. Now using the Wolf Flash to get back to stage. Oh, right now, 50% on Mars, but you got to be careful. That Wolf damage output is insane. They go for the up to the ledge. Calls out the ledge jump, and here comes the Aether winding up. Oh, oh dropping man. too low. Dang, you hit him with the fear edge guard, dude. <laughs> Look at this fiery sword. Uh, <laughs> and uh, was that... Is that the that, that's, that's three a bracket one. reset, yeah, right? Yeah, that is a bracket reset. So let's see if Mars can get Leo off this wolf, man. Uh, is history, or is history going to repeat itself? Yeah. For Mars reset, um, MK Leo at heart of battle, but he still was not able to close out the second set. I'll tell you, it's re one part's repeating. Leo's not switching off wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said he wasn't going to do it until he lost. Yeah. He hasn't lost yet. Tonight may be the night. Yeah. Oh, Leo not going to get that punish there on the dash attack. Okay, so we're back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, wow. I mean, Leo taking it a little bit slower here. Oh, I like the conversion, though. Falling fair. Like I said, Wolf can really wait for that opening. And once he gets that opening, the trigger can be pulled. And you just get a lot of damage. I mean, a little bit more is on the <laughs> line now. We see a forward air converting into back air. Yeah, and we uh, I, at least the first time I saw that was from Zachary, and uh, that falling fair man, you can do, you can convert a lot. Um, mostly, more more commonly seen at the lower percents for uh, just racking up damage, but also has those kill confirms as well. You we can see a back throw now, looking for a down air, not able to find it. Okay, Leo getting the center stage and up an entire stock, la even lapping uh, Mars in percent. That is the double jump, and that shouldn't be able to make it back. But wow, no down smash coming out from Leo. Definitely a situation. Um, Ike's up B does not snap Ooh. at the ledge. Oh! And now we're just going to have the oh. laser showdown here. Oh, Ooh. going really early. That was smart stuff from Mars, knowing that he needed to get out of that trap. He needed to oh. disrupt the timing. But big back air from MK Leo, and still was sitting on three socks. Not looking good for Mars here in game one. Yeah, and most people would be like, man, oh, wow, that killed. <laughs> that, is, that, yeah. that surprises me every time. It was like, oh, Air dang. No. Yeah, well, it's like he got hit up to 100, and he had no rage. I, I definitely thought he was going to live, but Pokemon Stadium 2, um, not not the lowest ceiling, but definitely not the highest either. Okay, looks like Leo's getting wise to those side beasts from Mars. Yeah. Ooh, I like the – right now both players just fighting for that center stage, crossing each other up getting towards that center stage area and right now Mars getting that back or sending him off stage Ooh. no double jump this should be the kill oh it gets the eruption but no kill and uh, I mean MK Leo isn't quite back yet so you know <laughs> he, he got he the kill alright alright thanks Mars you, you, you got it you got it yeah, make us look good <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now I mean Mars is doing a really good job that stock was very very clean coming oh. out from Mars yeah MK Leo knows that Mars has been kind of messing up on the text a little bit been, especially with like how aggressive he's been doing. Oh, <laughs> another big S match coming out from Mars. Oh, I like the um, side view onto the platform there. Ooh, there's the Nair into up air going for another up air. No, Leo gonna jump away from that situation. Ooh. Mars getting a lot of damage in this stock, especially for how far ahead he was, and then able to reverse and just take game one. Wow, he was he was actually kind of getting body. <laughs> he, he was getting. I mean. <laughs> There was a moment where Leo was getting body too. He was just getting tossed all over. Well, the it, it's funny because Leo started off that game and Leo was just bodying Mars, and then Mars was like, you know what? 
hold up, fam. And then he just he just turned up and took three stocks in it's a almost row. Like, it's almost like he just decided that, wait a minute, I can do this too. Yeah. I can play the game. Wait a minute. What if I start hitting my neutrals, though? <laughs> Very what great spacing from Mars. What if I do that to him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just really, really clutch coming out from Mars. And, I mean, th this is actually looking pretty scary because... Uh, Mars taking game one here, especially in that fashion too. It it can be hard. I, I definitely don't think Leo is a player that um, doesn't have a lot of mental fortitude, but it can be hard when like you were up, you know, three stocks to one, and then they bring it back, and then then you're gonna have to deal with the momentum in this game as well. It can be tough to deal with. Yeah. So Leo's lead trapping with soft hit in air. And he's been able to convert it to slowly take Mars to a hundred percent. Oh yeah, the ledge trapping from Wolf is so insane. The up smash actually almost Ceiling has to stop with the dash attack. Gonna send them off stage here. Forward tilt angle down, not gonna connect. I mean, just these huge hits from Mars just make me reel back in my chair. I can never tell if it is actually enough to take the stock because Ike is ridiculously strong. Yeah, Leo Shield looking really low right now. You gotta be careful. Um, shield poking is definitely a thing in this game. And very, very consistent at that. Ooh, Good anti-air, but I'm pretty Ooh. sure Mars noted that MK Leo is a little bit quick to pull the trigger on the on fastball uh, air dodges. Oh, right there, the quick draw going high. I'm gonna say, I mean, he he was looking in trouble there. Like if if Leo hit that uh, quick draw off the double jump, that definitely would have been a solid. Ooh, the dash back, back air not gonna be quite enough. And wow, Leo Shield still alive right now, but the spot dodge will get punished with the falling back air. So MK Leo was actually playing a little bit more defensive in the first game of the second set. We're not seeing that here. He's yeah. just, he's just playing like full on aggro and trying to stay in Martin's face and just overwhelm him. It's not quite working out. Ooh, these up there too, waiting for the air dodge and just like that, Mars bringing it right back. The dash attack almost killing off the top of the layer. Gotta be careful. Oh. Wow, I think he wave bounced the up on accident. Very unfortunate for MK Leo. We're gonna see a forward throw. Oh, that's no double jump there, and that's gonna be the stock. How many stocks are we gonna get to see last for uh, for air dodges? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a scary situation. Uh -huh. um, I think Mars was fine. The, that that directional air dodge was definitely accidental. He probably didn't want to do that. Okay, getting really wise about these timings, but not able to get that third shot. Yeah, even though it didn't like kill him, he still got like three free blasters. So nonetheless, still a lot of damage here for Leo. Wow, it's so crazy that we see these players like pairing certain attacks and sometimes they don't even... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. The wow, the slash of that move is just so big. Caught the air dodge. Yeah. Didn't even matter. <laughs> Anti-air forward smash from Mars there. And yeah, like we said, Mars is not afraid to have these big reads. He, he is very confident in his ability to read his opponent and make these really big hits connect. And... They're definitely connecting on Leo in this set because he's up 2-0 right now. He is, in fact, up 2-0. And Mars about to make history, rewriting what could have been at Heart of Battle Dang. here at MSM. Leo, right now, I mean, he's down 0-2, and we still see the Wolf. He's still got faith. So, okay. wow. We'll see if we can bring it home. Oh, oh, that was big opportunity for Mars. That SMS connected. That probably would have been lights out for Leo's first stock. Now... Trapping with the Nair is not going to actually get hit by a fight. What happened there? Yeah, accidental uh, Nutri error for sure. Um, Nutri error doesn't have that much ending lag when you do land on the ground with it. But if you do it in the air, um, not so much. And right there, Mars is going to unfortunately SE that first stock because of that Nutri error. That's so unfortunate because he had full control of this entire game. Yeah, and that up smash not going to connect. Really solid read, but he's still down a stock because of that SD. And Leo taking full advantage of that, already racking up 60% pretty much. Okay, so resulting to a little bit of blaster move. Ooh, the jab's not coming out quick enough. Leo going to get that grab from right off stage here. What's the ledge trap? The up air to catch the ledge jump. Ooh, the parry into the dash grab. Yeah, good, easy move. Oh. And now landing a back air, bringing Mars to his last stock here in game three. That can be a tilter, man. Like, you're, you're like, bodying someone game one, and it's just like, dang, I asked dude, and then they body you the second stock, and you're like, man, I was, like, actually, like, winning. <laughs> and now I'm down three stocks to one, and right now, Leo also getting all these combos as well. Mm -hmm. Leo's definitely feeling momentum, but a dash attack is strong from Ike, and that's going to be, we're going to say, uh, here, here a howling wolf just 
you know, he's sent to the skies. Oh, the down smash not going to connect the parry. And, like, just look at that air drift. Because Wolf was drifting back with the Nair, it was hard for Mars to get, like, a parry into a punish. So he kind of has to just reset. The down throw has a lot of reach. He's able to convert off of it. Oh, oh no. no, not again. Okay, able to make it back this time. Ooh, Hate to see two stocks like that. Yeah. There's the snipe, the double snipe, the triple. Oh, no. He went for the down air. He went for the down air. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did not, uh, maybe, hmm. Just maybe committed to the jump a little too early there. Mars not going to get that punish. Now, potential snipe here. No, going for the ledge with the up air does connect on that ledge jump. So MK Leo still alive in this says He goes up one to two against Mars. Yeah. That, that SD may be the pivotal, pivotal moment of this entire grand finals. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a tough pill to swallow for sure. Um, oh dang, wait, you got the synth this on though? <laughs> no, I don't think this is it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. No, this is. I'm pretty confident. I'm uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna be mad if it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Like connoisseur of a uh, Pokemon music. Does it tell us the name? Yes, I was right. Let's okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Internal <All right>. victory. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and yeah, like I like I said before, against some of these heavy or fast fallers, and Ike is interesting. He kind of falls in both of those cal categories. So when Leo gets a grab at zero, he's not going to go for the down throw dash attack. He's going to go for like up throw aerial, um, unless he gets like a falling fair into grab. Okay. Whoop. Well, a lot of safe play from mm. both players. A lot of cross ups with Nairs and a parry into down tilt. Not able to follow up with anything. Uh, wow. These players just keep answering back and forth to each other. Yeah, and this pressure from back air, um, Wolf does not have too uh, you, 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 If you do it correctly, um, back air auto cancel, so it can be insane pressure because it moves so strong here. Oh, oh tried to scoop yeah. him up with the up smash, but just did not misspace it. Ike's going a little bit too far. Yeah, he, he definitely had the read there. Oh, oh there's a snipe. There's out. no double jump. That should be a down smash? No, no he's down smash. He's going for these. He's going for the safe plays. He just wants to get rack up extra damage. Maybe just get the kill with the back throw. Even like, I, I feel like forward tilt, you don't even have to go for down smash. You could just up tilt that. Because Mars, as long as Mars spaces the up B to uh, not go above the ledge, the laser, the blaster shouldn't hit him. Okay, blaster. Another blaster. A triple blaster. Again. Oh, wow, dang. Forward's the record. Yeah, but it's like, you get all this. Okay, back throw's going to kill him. Okay. So there, there was a point to all those yeah. blasters. Eventually, the grab, when he gets back on stage, is going to seal it out. And only 59% here. Now Mars is going to get the grab, gets the air dodge read as well. I mean, he's been so good at that. MK Leo been pulling the trigger on those air dodges. Not even doing directional air dodges, just the, the straight air dodge. Oh, there's the falling fair into the up air. Leo already racking 72%. Like I said, this damage output on this character is absolutely crazy. Here's the platform tech chase. Not going to connect here, but the Nair to up air also not going to connect here for Mars, and Leo going to still have this first stock online. Mm -hmm. Playing a little bit more defensive, using the blaster a lot more in comparison to the first couple games. Wow. MK Leo just seems like he's in full control of this set now. And you notice too when Leo has a lot of this corner pressure, I really want to point out that he's not always just dashing around. Beautiful back air coming out from Leo, now up three stocks to one. But he'll, he'll like corner you and then either slowly come in with a like kind of committal option or just start walking backwards just ready to hit like a forward tilt the other way or something of the sort. So just really, really patient and uh, great corner pressure coming out from Leo. Mm -hmm. Now both players trying to get a grab to get something started. But yeah, th this is looking uh, looking pretty scary here. Leo up an entire stock. Maybe going to try and make this reverse 3-0 happen. And uh, maybe possibly just... Possibly go uh, to a game five. Yeah, possibly go to the game five. Maybe throw in there like, hey, man, my wolf has not lost the tourney yet, man. I mean, I, I, if we do an interview, that's that's what I'm expecting from Leo. If he is able to turn it around 3-0, reverse 3-0 Mars here in Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, he'll, he'll have every right to say it. I mean, Leo... Just picking up this character, just doing amazing things with him. There's the parry. Oh, tried to get the up smash. And there is the run back. And Leo going to bring it to a game number five. Can't believe it's actually the, gone the, the, the this dang. far. It's almost, I mean, it's like we're back in Saturday. Did we travel back in time? I, I think <laughs> I know who's going to win. Dang, you're really going to you you're really gonna do Mars if, like if, that, though? If, if history repeats itself history has taught me anything, 
that it will repeat itself, and I'm calling it Leo is going to win MSM. He's going to sit in this chair that I'm sitting in right now, and he's going to say, I have not lost the tournament with with me. All right, I mean, going for the hard reads. We we will see. <laughs> you know, I, I still got faith in Mars. I think he can do this, but, I mean, in in all right, like, Leo is an amazing player, and, and not only ever since Genesis, player. he hasn't lost the tournament. He's the best player in the world. Yeah, I mean, as, <laughs> uh, if you're definitely going off of uh, <laughs> Genesis results, yes, for sure. I, I I personally still think Tweak is the best, but you know it's it's a it's a it's a tough argument. It it is definitely debatable. Yes, for sure. So right now we're going right into it. Now Mar is gonna actually switch back to the zero suit Samus. Very interesting here for this game number five. So now is it now who's gonna be able to adapt first? That's really the name of the game. I mean Mars has been had, uh, you know had a lot of game on his zero suit. He didn't do too well when he fought Leo in winners finals with his zero suit. Ooh, but is nice the, punish. Is all the games have all the games like adjusted to that? Yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting. Um, we, like this was the matchup they played at Heart of Battle. So um, I mean, Leo did win, um, but Mars was able to take a set with the zero suit. So it's it, not only a set, but a few games on top of that. Now Ooh. we see the spacing around down smash. We see down throw from MK Leo. Completely expecting wow. the kick flip. Yeah, and it, on that platform, it just like got rid of all the lag. That up air almost sealing the deal. The frame trap into the back air. Really bad position here for Leo. Wow, wow. the wolf flash totally extended, but the side B punish from Mars is going to get that first off. A big lead. This, I mean, it's going to be a big opportunity for Mars. All the extra credit that he needs here. Just allowing MK Leo to not uh, take his stock right away. Ooh, there's a forward air. Ooh, catches the jump with the up smash. Gonna get some more damage. Another anti-air. Wow, so much damage already. Mars already racking it up to 64%. Even with a dash back into a into a pivot grab. I mean, Mars was really showing that he had the reads on MK Leo, but finally using the, the F-tilt at the ledge. We saw a lot of blasters when he was playing Ike. But now using the F-tilt as an edge guard opportunity. Yeah, and that's the crazy thing about Wolf. He can edge guard you without really putting himself at risk. He can stay on stage with these down tilts, with these forward tilts, with these down smashes, and very effectively edge guard you and still get that ledge trap situation. But Mars, not caring about any of that, the flip kick gonna seal out the second stock here on this game number five. This is it. That's right, he's one stock away from winning MSM, rewriting history, saying what could have been at Heart of Battle, and oh, damn, possibly you. forcing Leo off, off Wolf. Dang, these pivot grabs too. Oh man, Mars is playing so clean, knowing exactly when Leo wants to drift in with this wolf to parry into the up tilt as well. Mars is not done. That's right. Oh, that caught the they caught the kip lift. Now <laughs> going for the big money maker. Yeah, Leo kind of had to make that play there. Wow, Mars. I feel like Mars had the read on that uh, flash wolf, but just didn't pull the trigger on the down air quick enough. And right now, oh. Leo trying to make this play happen. This uh, boost kick should be it though, and Mars is gonna take it. That's right, two stocking.